Welcome into another edition of Ghost Statesman TV. I'm Clayton Kaufman. Thanks for tuning in to WHCQ tonight. We have got a great show for you. Coming up, we're going to take a look at the Delta State men's and women's soccer teams. They were able to close out their home schedule with a win against the University of Pikeville. We've got analysis from coaches and players. We're also going to take a look at the Delta State men's and women's basketball teams. They're about a week into their fall practice, gearing up for the upcoming season. JT Webb and I were able to catch up with Sandra Rushing, Jason Connor, and Veronica Walker to give us their thoughts after the first week of practice. We'll also take a look around the campus here at Delta State. Micah Davis was awarded an $18,000 scholarship, and we'll also take a look at a media seminar that several athletes took part in over at Ewing Hall. But first up, we're going to send that out to Ben DeShong, who's standing at Delta Field with women's soccer player Melinda DeRamo. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Melinda DeRamo after the Lady Statesman picked up a 6-0 win against Pikeville in the final home game of the season. Melinda, you got the third goal, but overall, six goals, six different scores, a uh, great offensive performance for the team today. Just your reactions from the game. It was huge for us. We have a lot of trouble putting, ball, putting balls in the back of the net, and we really needed to have these goals. It was huge for us. I know Coach have been talking the last couple of weeks more about offense because you've had a, a lot of those 1-0 defeats and then you finally picked up your a 1-0 win before this game. Was that, was that just extra motivation coming in to finally get one of those close wins? Yes, we have like hardly any home games and we've lost almost all of them except for our one preseason. So we wanted to get out there, score as many as we possibly could, work as hard as, hard as we possibly could for Sam Bosser because our last senior, it's our last home game. We just wanted to put all our work that we've done in the last practices into our our one game. Yeah. Uh, with that, just that that final home game and coming out starting strong with with the goals, you, you had a, a pretty solid left foot shot from at the top of the box. Can you just talk about just finding those opportunities and getting that goal? Yeah, it's all about your confidence. If you go out there and you take your shot thinking, I'm probably going to miss, you're going to miss. So coach has really helped us a lot saying, shoot it, you're going to make it. Just get on the frame. Even if you don't make it, someone else will get the rebound. So that's <laughs> Looking forward, you got you spent a lot of time on the road this week. You got one more game, uh, heading back for one more road trip. Uh, just what are you looking forward to this game, trying to take out of this game? We need to beat CBU. We need a solid conference win. We know we can beat them. Just got to work hard, and we want this one. Thank you. Now we're going to send it to Clayton Kaufman with Kayla Kazanowski. Thanks, Ben. We're joined by Kayla Kazanowski. Kayla, you had a beautiful shot early on that was – perfectly shot over the goalkeeper's head and talk about that goal you made. Um, well, it was definitely unexpected because I play defense, but it was nice to open up the scoring. A shutout win, your last home game of the year, and I'm sure that feels good going out on a positive note here in the Delta. Yeah, it feels good. We've lost a lot of games, won nothing, so a win's nice. You know, going forward, I know we only got a game left in the season, but when you guys are going to prepare during the offseason, how do you guys got to get over that hump for those 1-0 the defeats are in your advantage next year? Well, we definitely have to work on finishing. Like, we have a lot of opportunities. We just don't complete the final shot into the back of the net. And I think with some of the girls coming in and the girls we already have, we're definitely going to be able to score more goals next year. Defensively, though, on the bright side, even if you've gotten beat, you have been playing great defense pretty much the entire year, and that's something you can hang your hat on. Yeah, I mean, we've got a young defensive line, too, so next year we'll still be strong. How has Coach Baba been for you as a freshman? And, you know, going forward, what do you have to do to get better? Um, he's been a great coach. Like, he's very inspirational. He tells us, like, what we need to do and what we're doing wrong and tells us what we need to focus on. All right, Kayla, thanks for your time and congrats on the win. Thanks. That was freshman Kayla Kazanowski. We're going to send it to break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this on WHCQ.